Hi, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy Tactics Let's Play. When we last left off, we had just finished up Daughter Trade City. We learned about a couple of new people. We had 12 injured people, but that's okay. So we just learned about a new person, Wygriff. Wygra Falls, who's age 30, the leader of the Death Corps that terrorizes the Galleon territory, former leader of the Knights of Death. At the end of the 50 year war, the Knights of Death were formed due to the lack of military strength. So, the, so the, after the 50 year war, which is where chapter 1 takes place, the Death Knights were formed uh, because, of course, all the other military people defected and became rebels. Volunteers were assembled to make up the group of knights, active during the later years of the war, but after de their defeat, they ceased to exist and were disbanded without any compensation. So again, so here's another group of people, the Death Knights and the Death Corps, who were who pretty much fought in the war and did all this army work, and then they were all just disbanded suddenly and weren't paid for any other time, which probably explains why they are very upset. We also learned about Gustav, Gustav Margriff, the sub-leader of the Death Corps, former sub-leader of the Knights of Death. Before joining the Knights of Death, he was one of the Hokuten Knights, which of course are the Egros Knights. But due to his reckless actions, such as robberies and rapes at seized towns, problems within the Knights arose. He was forced out of and eventually joined the deaths of the Knights of Death, a rival to Wygriff. So now we're off to find out about Gustav. Who we think might be hiding in Zeklas Desert. So let's head there and find out. Ooh. Here is our first split battle. Previously, when we've deployed our army, everybody was together. Now we're now we're separated into squads. Rams is going to be a one. So with Ramza, we'll probably stick, let's see, let's just go ahead and stick York with him. And in Squad 2, we'll stick Gellis and Zack. Note that Gelki is still an archer, so she can't be deployed. Not yet. Not until she's a thief. I should probably actually deploy her. Seller of Sand Mouse. Note the mistranslation. This should be the Seller of Sand Rat. Actually, this should be Sand Rat Cellar, but who's counting? Hey, did you hear? The Hokuten are moving. So I heard. What's gonna happen to us? Forget the Death Corps and run him before we forget the Death Corps and run before we get killed. We'll die anyway, even if we follow Wygriff. Exactly. When we get a ransom for the Marquis Le Gustav planned, we can be a, we can get out of this misery. So these guys are on Gustav's side, using the Marquis to get uh, the Marquis of Elmdor. Sorry, Marquis Elmdor of Limberry to get money. Oh God, the Hokuten! Let's get the guard first before the others find us. Conditions for winning: defeat all enemies. So now we have an entrenched enemy who consists primarily of knights. And a new class, the monk. The monk are bare fisted fighters. We'll get to see more of them later when Ramza becomes a monk in chapter 2. But for now, just know that they can be a pain or they can be really, really weak. Depends a lot on how strong they are. Roms is pretty much the best monk in the entire game. Well, Roms is pretty much the best anything in the entire game because it's Ramza and he has his own unique character growth that makes him good at everything. Which we'll see, of course, in Chapter 2 when Ramza goes on a murdering spree. But for the most part, Notice how everybody's clumped up at, over there. We can't really break in there because of all the knights in, the, in there. So all we can hope to do really is sneak around where the single monk has tried to kill the leader. Of course, since everybody decided to clump up, they are prime targets for 
you're here. I'm gonna use Bolt just because I have Light Bolt. Of course, if I target him, then I kill Algus. Or I do damage to Algus. Either way, I'm really tempted to just kill Algus. But I'm not gonna do that. Actually, yes, I am. Goodbye, Algus. <laughs> Where did I target that? I think I target targeted on him, so if Gellis moves there, we should be okay. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Sadly, that will go off before York's move gun does. I'll be nice. I'll only half kill Algus. Between Gellis, Algus, and the healing, they should have that uh, that area well under control. All right, there's an archer. Well, that's that's different. Either way, everything is forced to clump up right there. Clump up into little tiny delicious piles of magic searing death. Algus did. We can use Gellis to block this section right here. Voila! Mostly everybody's trapped right there. Lita is gonna probably die to the monk. Alright. They can get through there, can't they? Well, okay then. I miscalculated that qui by quite a bit. It's okay. Everybody's still clumped up like mad. And I'll still pretty much destroy everybody. Let's see. Algus should actually get his next turn. I'm oh, sorry, Delita should actually get his next turn before this monk does. Kimball. Yep, there's Delita. There's Kimball. So hopefully, Delita should take the obvious action and kill that guy. Hopefully. There you go, Delita. Just to ensure that you get your turn before that guy does. We'll leave you to it. take both of those two out together. I have to move them in a range of people, but that's okay. Oh no. Alas. One, he can't kill both of them. And two, he can't target both of them. Shame, shame, shame. But we can get a guaranteed kill on that guy, which we will go for. This is a little injured, so Zach will retreat. Do a cure two to us. Of course, York's in prime condition to get himself murdered as well. Because that's just how I roll. Kill everybody! March up and try to kill your Zack. Try to kill Zack. That guy's charging, and you know what that means. It won't quite kill him, but he'll be dead on his next turn. We've lost our archer. Oh, Delida. Delida, you idiot. You absolute idiot. 
Oh well. Is my healer down? Things are now not looking quite so good. I've got three turns to pretty much finish this up. Though I Oh, and he has potions. Oh, I didn't know that part. Oh. Kimball's gonna be a nuisance after all, huh? That's okay. It's all okay. We'll do our best. And by do our best, I mean we'll kill everything with fire. Gellis as well, and I definitely don't want to accidentally kill Gellis, because she's pretty much the only thing keeping me alive right now. Another night down? Alright, Delida. And you're gonna suck again. Yeah, Delight is not really doing a whole lot here. That's okay. I never expected him to. I did kind of hope he would do better than what he did, because he could have killed that monk on his turn. So, him not killing the monk is just... That's just insult to injury right there. We'll take out the other knight. That leaves the monk. And this archer. We'll take him out. I have not leveled I have not healed Ramsey yet. I probably really should. But first, I want to do this. First things first. What's this guy's doing? That's okay. We're gonna get have somebody be killed on their next turn. I'd rather have it be... I wouldn't mind it being Zack, so long as Zack's timer resets. Or wait! Never mind. Zack will get off a heal. So that was totally worth it. That just leaves our monks. Let's see. No. Battle skill. Speed break. She's got a 55% chance to lower his speed by two. I'll give it a go. And it's a hit. Now, that's right, Zack's turn comes again because the monk lost his. If we check our turn order, Flansburg is now down here. Two turns to go, he probably would have been just after Ramsla. So let's see, we can heal them both, or. Ramsla's just out of range, so he'll heal. When a person's speed gets to about three or three, two or one, they were they're effectively pretty much never gonna move again for like a hundred because it takes one hundred ticks for them to go, and everybody else just goes so much faster. goes after that. Oh, it's Flansburg's turn. I predict he'll go after Gellis, because she's the only one within range. And I also predict he'll run back inside. So. I didn't forget about you, pal. Oh, 
He didn't run back inside. He ran to her side to her to get a to get a side attack on her. Kind of worthless because you know it's Gellis. Gellis won't die unless I just avoid her entirely. Hmm. He was a knight, so I may actually learn some skills with him, with Gellis. So I'm not gonna do anything just yet. I'm not gonna grab it. Because she speed broke him, she's guaranteed to get her next turn before he does. And there she goes. Let's see if she can learn any skills. Get ability. Ugh. Antidote and equip change. Oh well, why not? She gets both of them, so now she knows antidote and equip change. As good as that is. If you're trying to gain skills from uh we're trying to gain skills from crystals, it's good to try to speed break the other team, because then they just can't go. They're effectively immobilized permanently, with no way to raise their own speed. And of course the opposite of that is to yell up your own team. She not only gets Ramza ex experience, but, ass but assures that they'll go before the bad guy ever does. So with that done, I'm actually going to try to speed break him again. Probably won't work. Oh, nope it did. So let's see what his... So he gets one last turn, and this will be probably his last turn ever. Let's just look at what Flansburg's speed is now. He has a speed of two. That means his bar fills up two for every for every in-game tick that passes. While Ramza's, for example, is a speed of seven. And Gellis has a speed of seven. So for every so looking at our AT list, it's all black now. Flansburg is the 13th person, goes 13 times uh, on the 13th turn, and then 28, and then he's not even on the list anymore. <laughs> That's if everybody just sits there and wastes their turn doing nothing, just just waiting, patiently waiting. I mean, we're not going to do that, we're going to speed break him again, but... Because Delight and Algus are dead, we honestly have, we actually do not have to bother worrying about them coming up, uh, killing the monk before the other dudes turn into crystals. But yes, while this is drawing out the fight, it is a way just to get new stuff. Relatively safely. See? Now I've got a bronze helmet. That's one bronze helmet I don't have to buy. Let's see if Gellis learns anything from this knight. She gets charge plus one, which is a archer ability. So it was kind of worthless, but that's okay. Nope, Flashburg is coming up. Gellis comes next, comes way before him though. Just to add insult to injury, we'll yell her up even more. Eventually, you'll start yelling so much that she'll just start getting two turns in a row. So let's see. Eh, let's go grab it. Nobody could die on Flansburg's turn. Oh, and there are no, no more skills. Alright, that just leaves the monk, so let's go kill him. Because Ramza will be a monk later, I'm actually going to go and try to grab that uh, monk crystal. She missed that time. I'm 
Just look at how to, just look at the fact that he can't move at all. So let's see. And we get a clip change, which is a zero JP skill that any that every basic starting chemist knows. Absolutely worthless. That's okay. It's one less skill he has to learn, right? Yeah, let's finish this one up. Flanberg gets his last turn of this entire match. And he tries to retreat. He tries his hardest to retreat. He's not gonna get very far. Cause the skill is his turn again. Already. <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty much- he's pretty much not gonna go away. <laughs> and it's Gellis' turn again! Bye-bye. Oh wait! Nope! Missed. That's okay. Since there's no way this guy will ever go, ever. We'll just bonk him over the head. And <laughs> now he's dead. Nice shot! Excellent. Took longer than I thought. Sorry about that. I did want to grab those crystals. Should be noticing right now. So yeah, there's your first example of speed manipulation. Manipulating speed. Speed is king in this game. You can do anything if you have enough turns. We get a blind knife. Which is a knife that inflicts blindness. Well, with the chance to inflict blindness. I don't think anybody actually equips knives, so it's pretty much useless, but that's okay. We'll sell it. Gustav, why don't you give up? Your revolution can never succeed! What we need is food and a place to sleep, not ideas, and we need it now! You only see the present. You have to fix the basics! And you think you'll do that? I don't think so, Wygriff. Never! Is that all you want to say? Gustav, goodbye. Schlank. Ugh. Wygriff! Marquis! Freeze! You bastard! Stop it, Algus. The Marquis is alright. Take him back to Igros. What? Kidnapping wasn't our goal. We never stoop to such acts. You can have the Marquis, if you just let me go. Well? Don't trifle with us! You can't beat us! Stop it, Algus. He's serious! Let him go, Algus. Why do you stop me? The Death Core will destroy itself. Don't risk it. Ugh. He's all right, weakened, but no serious wounds. I love that Algus was so intent on getting to the Marquis that he completely fails to check up on the Marquis and leaves it to Ramza. Let's go back to Egros. Well, there you go. We've rescued the Marquis of Limberry. And our new task now is to head back to Egros Castle. Let's check out our formation. See what we've managed to learn. Rams has unlocked a bunch of classes. In addition to the Wizard and Priest, Knight, and Archer, he's also unlocked a class called Oracle, which we'll get into later. He's gained a lot of JP. None of, almost none of it is really useful except possibly heal. Clip Axe doesn't really mean anything, but I'm just going to learn it anyway, just so he has all his skills. What's Gellis learned? As a knight, Gellis now has the ability to, to learn just one eye of skill, which we're going to uh, get, Weapon Guard. It's our first reaction ability, and it parries attacks with the equipped weapon. So, reaction abilities are, braced, are 
influenced a bit by are influenced by Brave, so sort of kind of depending on what it is. Uh, stuff like counter and counter tackle, your the percentage of it happening is basically equal to the percentage of your Brave, more or less. For something like weapon guard, it's actually weapon dependent. So the sword that she has, see that five percent? That is a five percent uh, chance that she'll parry a weapon with her uh, with weapon guard active, which will set. Yelki hasn't been in any fights, so she's actually starting to fall behind in levels. So I may have to grind her up. Let's see what Zack has learned. Zack can learn shell and protect, which work uh, like their Final Fantasy normal Final Fantasy counterparts. Protect increases, uh, reduces physical damage. Shell reduces magic damage. Since we'll use protect, we'll get, we'll get both. He's also unlocked Oracle. York has unlocked Time Mage, which is one of my favorite uh, class move sets, but not one of my favorite classes. That's okay. He can learn Poison, but I want to save up for a rank 2 of something. So we'll go ahead and leave it. He still does not have gain JP up, so he, so while his level is mostly on par, he does not have as many, uh, as much JP for skills. Meanwhile, Delida and Galgus, both being dead in the last turn, didn't really get a lot of spillover. But yeah, that's it. We'll save it, come back for part 8, where we return to Igor's castle. And I'm going to, in the meantime, I'm going to grind up Gelki to be a thief. And then, and, uh, then hopefully, we'll see the whole team in action soon. So thanks for watching, and see you real soon.